Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be testing out some makeup from Makeup Revolution and Rachel Leary. It is the collab. So this is not a new collab. This is actually like older. I do not know if Ulta is still selling this palette currently. It has been pretty recent since I bought this, but you just never know. What is a lot newer though and what should still be in stores is the Rachel Leary and Revolution Glow collab. And it is her Golden Hour bronzer. It's a bronzer, but it is called Splendor Highlighter. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna be testing this out as well as I do have her um, lip gloss as well that she came out with with this collab. So this collab is a lot newer. So these are the two products that I picked up from the newer collab. And then like I mentioned, this one is an older collab. She did mention that they were going to discontinue this. So once everything is sold out, that is it. You will not be able to get this anymore. So I know a lot of people did their reviews on this. It's not much of a review. It's just kind of just playing with the makeup and testing out some makeup from Rachel Leary and Makeup Revolution. So this is just for fun. If you are not part of the family already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. That way you will not miss any future videos. Let's get to it. All right, so I do have my base done already. I have the foundation done, my concealer, my powder, and my eyebrows. So majority of the face is gonna be done using the Makeup Revolution and Rachel Leary products. So I am super excited to try this out. I did open up the palette just to kind of see what's inside because on the back, it's there's no like color chart, so it's really hard to know. And I love the color. Like, oh my God, look at this. I actually just discovered Rachel Leary and like her, you, like her YouTube videos and stuff, so I really didn't know much about her. So when this palette came out, which I think was one or two years ago, I didn't even notice. So you do get a nice full-size mirror as you can see my reflection. Um, so I'm gonna hold it upside down so I don't blind you guys with all my lighting. Um, there we go. So you do get quite a few eyeshadows in this palette. You also get a matte bronzer, a like matte contour shade, and then you do get like a shimmer bronzer as well. You do get some blushes. It looks like you get a matte blush, a shimmer blush, this one kind of looks more like a satin. It's kind of hard to see the actual colors, I feel. Um, and then you do get quite a few different highlighters. So this highlighter here is kind of like a pinky champagne type of color. And then you do have this really nice yellow, which I can see putting like in the inner corners. And then this nice like glazed white highlighter. So you do get basically a full face in here. Um, so I feel like this would be such a beautiful travel palette. So this is the like highlighting um, shimmer bronzer that was in her smaller palette. So I believe she came out with like a smaller like orange palette and then she came out with a bigger turquoise palette. And there was a like shimmering bronzer in there that everyone loved. Um, and so she, when she created the second collaboration, my fingerprints are already on this, turned this into like a single huge big bronzer. So this is supposed to make you look glowy and dewy without actually feeling dewy. And um, yeah, so I'm super excited to try it out. It looks kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so we will see. Do I wanna clip my hair back? I think I'm going all right so i look a little silly i know but it's just to keep the hair out of my face okay, so first i'm just gonna go in to passion fruit martini and i'm kind of just gonna put this right in the crease and kind of work it up halfway to the brow bone i have a lot of space to play with so if you do not, then maybe just focus, put it a little bit in the crease and then a little above the crease, kind of fake it so you make it sort of thing. And I want to do such like a fun, it has like a unique smell. Um, I want to do something fun, but I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. So we will see. I feel like my lashes are getting longer and I don't know if it's, 
I take collagen, but I don't always remember to take it every single day. And I also don't always remember to put my lash serum on my eyelashes, but like you can actually see them. And so I don't know exactly what's causing them to grow, but I'm not complaining. All right, so next we're gonna go into Baby Girl. And we're gonna put that in our crease I have this like very light purple shirt on it almost kind of looks baby pink it's like this shirt right here so i kind of want to do something that's going to tie into it as well as my bra strap is kind of like burgundy so let's like make everything match so i'm just gonna start off slow just because i don't know what kind of impact this is going to be and I'm just gonna focus this in the crease, but I'm not gonna take it as high as that first shade right there. I know a lot of my videos are like first impressions and then it ends up turning into like almost a tutorial, but I like teaching. I know sometimes some family and friends watch my videos to kind of learn new techniques, so. Just like that, and it's very, very pretty. I feel like this palette, like if you guys have this palette, it's such a good palette to have because you can basically use it in the winter, you can use it in the spring, the summer, like it's a very versatile palette. So far I'm not getting a whole lot of fallout, which is really nice. I don't mind fallout, but it's nice when you don't have it, but you still have the pigment. This palette, like I'm not saying this smells, I'm not saying this smells exactly like a chai, but it's kind of like reminding me that my chai is like here just like the smell of it i don't know oh so good i do make my chai myself at home i just get the tazo chai latte um, pre-made stuff that you can get in like the coffee tea aisle of your store and then i mix in a little bit of vanilla creamer and like just regular oat milk it seriously has just been my go-to lately like i just I've been such in a mood for chai lattes and not so much coffee. I don't know why, but coffee is just like, uh, real lately. All right, so next I'm going to take fine wine and just kind of start putting that in my crease. And to be honest, guys, I feel like I'm so like been a while since I put like deeper colors on the outer corner of my eye just because of like you know having a baby I don't have time to do all this blending and stuff so like usually I just do a couple crease colors a little eyelid color and call it a day I don't do the outer corner dimension anymore but so I'm probably out of practice so don't judge me guys okay just don't judge me I'm just gonna take my transition brush just kind of buff it in and I just do little circles back and forth just like that sorry I thought I was recording and I wasn't so all I did so far is I went into kisses and I'm using my finger just because the brush like hardly anything showed up on my lid using a dry brush and I'm just focusing this on the middle of my eye. I'm gonna touch up the outer corner with the darker purple, which was fine wine. And then we're gonna put another color in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna do the same on the other eye. I will link this palette down below if it is still available. I will feel bad if it's not. All right, so pretty. Next, we're gonna go into glossy and we're gonna put that on the inner corner and we're just gonna put that in the inner. I'm just gonna use my flat brush and go on the other side. And just gonna kind of blend it into just gonna marry the colors together just like that all right and then I'm gonna take 
Um, I'm going to take Baby Girl and Fine Wine again. I'm going to take Baby Girl first. And just focus that on the outer. And then I'm going to take Baby Girl and put that on the inner. Just like that. So it's a pretty like simple, really nice like purple look. But I am feeling it. It's been a while since I played with color and put purple on my eyes so i am really liking it all right so next i think i'm gonna take pina colada which is like a matte white and i'm just gonna highlight my brow bone in person guys like i feel like the camera is not doing it justice in person i'm in love with this eye look and like i said it's been a while since i did my makeup i used to do my makeup like this all the time and now when I do my makeup, people are like, how do you have time to do your makeup? And I'm like, this is, com like what I do normally is just like very quick for me because I'm so used to doing makeup looks like this. I take a little bit longer, so I'm faster at doing simple makeup, I guess you can say. But I don't definitely don't have the time to do this type of makeup every single day. So I'm loving it. Next, I think we're going to go back into glossy and we're just going to put that on the inner corner as well. Or... Actually, we're gonna go into glaze, which is the highlighter. Oh my goodness, that's really pretty. So it looks like start white in the pan, but it's actually almost like a, it has like a yellow gold reflex. So that is really, really pretty. Before we finish the eyes with lashes and mascara, just because by doing the rest of my face, I don't want any powder to like cover my false lashes. So I am going to go into this palette. I'm going to go back into the palette and we're going to go into Indulge, which is this shade right here. It's like a nice, it's like a nice um, matte bronzer. Um, so we're going to go into that. I don't know how pigmented this is. I definitely need to warm up my skin because I was at the beach and I definitely got a tan. And so I feel, well right now I'm like red here, but the rest of my body is like pretty tan. So I need to make sure that my face is going to match the rest of my skin. And I always like to mention this, I do have a lot of pigmentation and scars and a little bit of newer acne on my cheek areas so most of the time when i put on bronzer on camera more than in person it looks kind of blotchy but it's just because of the acne like this pigmentation and acne scars underneath and then whatever's left i'm just gonna put it around my forehead yeah, I like this bronzer. I mean, it's not like, oh my God, it's my favorite bronzer ever, but I do like it. All right, so I'm gonna use the Laura Lee Los Angeles L13 brush to contour. So now I'm gonna go in to Bronze, which is the shade right here. And this could be used as a bronzer as well, like if you're more like fair. And the other one might be a little bit too light, but it kind of just seems a little on the cooler tone in a way. Like, I don't know, it might not be. So I just want to use it to contour a little bit. Chisel out the jaw. And then I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of go on the side of my nose and I will clean that up. Just give me a second. Just kind of lay the product down first. And I think I could use this as a bronzer as well, not just contour. Like it's not as light as it looks in the pan or as cool tone. It's, it's definitely, a, I would say, a little bit more cooler tone. And then I just kind of take a fluffy brush and blend it because I don't want it too precise. I'm just going to go in to this blush called Rosé, which is right here, just because I want something a little bit more matte. 
So I'm just going to use a Wet n Wild brush. And we're going to bring back the sun burnt look. I'm not going to go into bronze glow, which is the glowy bronzer in this palette because I do want to try the famous golden hour. Which is why I'm going to use a matte blush because I don't want to be super glowy. And if you think I have too much blush, blush is usually the first to fade, so it is okay. I will, I'm going to do highlighter last because I really want to test this bad boy out first. So I'm just going to use a like fluffy brush like this. I'm so scared, guys. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Good lord. Okay. So this really does add like shimmer, a little bit of glitter. So if you have a lot of texture on your skin, I do have some texture. It's probably not gonna be your skin's best friend. I mean, it is nice. I just don't know, I don't know if I would see myself wearing this all the time, you know? I don't know. I was really hoping I would like it, but it just looks almost like a like highlighter, which I know it does say um, highlighter, illuminator, because of how shiny it is. But Rachel was like, it's the best bronzer ever. So I'm like, okay, we're going to put it on like a bronzer. But yeah, it's just, it definitely makes you look glowy and dewy, but... In my opinion, not in the best way for my skin type, I guess you can say. So I'm really not loving it as much as I wanted to. But I'll definitely, you know, keep playing with it and kind of see. But right now, I feel like it just emphasizes a lot of my texture. Maybe on its own, you know, like not on top of something. Because right now, right now, I feel like it's just looking a little bit muddy. Um, so not on its, maybe on its own, but not combined with other products. All right, so next I'm just going to go into, I'm going to go into this highlighter right here. I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild. Isn't this the cutest Wet n Wild brush ever? Pick up some of that highlighter. Not that we need it. I'm kind of just see what it does it's kind of hard to tell you know with the bronzer but oh boy hmm, 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 hmm. i don't know i don't know so i'm like swatch i feel like it's a little chunky This is the yellow ultimate goddess right there. And then this is the glazed one, which you can see on my finger. It looks, see how it's not stark white. It's like got like a golden shift to it. I do like this one. So yeah, so those are the highlighters. So I'm gonna quickly do some liner and some mascara. So for my top and bottom lashes, I'm just gonna use the Wet n Wild mascara from the Saved by the Bell collab. And then for liner, I'm gonna use a super precise eyeliner from Essence. Um, and then we will be back to do lips. I will put on some falsies, which I am just going to use. So these are the Salon Perfect 614s. So I'm gonna apply those. Apply a lip liner, some lips, and then we're gonna be done. So I will be right back. All right, so I just filled. So 
So I just filled in my lips with this NYX um, lip liner. It is the um, matte lip liner in the shade Stockholm SMLL28. So it's kind of like my lips but better, maybe a little bit lighter. So I just quickly did that. Um, I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry so I can put on the uh, falsies. So we're gonna go in with the gloss. So I am super excited. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. And this one is in the shade Golden Goddess. And it's definitely very golden. So there is like glitter reflexes in the gloss. It's not enough to turn me away. Like it doesn't look metallic. It just looks very juicy and very glossy. So I do see myself wearing this gloss a lot more often. It's definitely like a go. I feel like it's like a going out type of gloss, you know? I mean, if this is your everyday gloss. I mean that works too but i feel like it's not I feel like it's not my everyday gloss i feel like it's a special moment gloss you know all right so i'm gonna go ahead put on my false lashes i will be back and give you my final thoughts all right guys so this is the final look we have everything done full face is complete i really like the overall look i think it looks very just glowy and just put together it looks like i'm going out like this is going out makeup for me now this is not everyday makeup for me like it used to be but this palette definitely kind of this palette definitely makes me want to play with a little bit more color and get creative again with my eye look i just love it so much so quickly let me give you my final thoughts and yeah so the gloss i really do like it i am noticing though like Kind of right here i feel like it's kind of building up a bit i just don't want it to give me like that but whole look you know what i mean so but yeah i mean i do really like it it is a more of a pop gloss like it's definitely for me it's like a going out dinner night you know what i mean so that's the type of gloss i'm getting from this um but i do like it and i don't see it you know being like gummy so that's good it's very shiny it is definitely very gold you do not need a whole lot just a little bit this like highlighter you know golding bronzer i just i just don't think it's for me i know a lot of people love this and i just think with my acne and textured skin i just don't think it's for me i'm not saying that i hate it or anything like that i'm just saying for my skin type it might not be the best but i do want to play with it some more and see if i can get it to work for my skin type i really did enjoy the palette as well um i would say like i said i love the eye look that i came up with and i do love how it is i love the color of the palette first of all i love how you do get a really nice size mirror in it and I love how you literally have a full face so that way you can use this to travel and you really don't have to have so many products with you. Um, I'm not sure how I feel. Like I, like I said, the bronzers are nice. I wouldn't say they're my absolute favorite and I'm gonna wanna go to them all the time, but it's nice. Um, the highlighters I feel like could be a little bit more smoother. That's just me being nitpicky. I haven't tried all the blushes, but the blush that I did try was very pigmented and I really, really do like it. And so far I haven't had any issues with any of the eye whoop, any of the eyeshadows that I used so far. I am dying to play with this shade right here. Like, oh my god, that looks so beautiful. These like bronzy shades in here calling my name. This like green color is calling my name. Like there are quite a few shades in this palette that I just want to play with. So yeah, so if you guys do have this palette, like I said, I know it's not new. It did not just come out. It's been out for a bit. So if you guys do have this palette and you want me to do some more looks and to just focus on eyes and do eye tutorials on this with this palette, go ahead and leave me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Until next time. Bye.